Hi friends, welcome. In this video, we're going to be using for the first time the new Bobbi Brown palette, the Jane Stone Eyeshadow Palette. This is what it looks like outside. I will be showing you the shadows and also some swatches and how I got this look. If you want to know how I created this look, what shades I chose, then keep on watching. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is show you the palette inside. It's kind of like a plastic and it has this these colors, fluorescent colors on the lid, on the top. And it has a um, pretty good sized mirror. The lid does not stay open. So this is the mirror and it doesn't stay open so you have to hold it. And this is what how it looks inside. I haven't swatched it, I haven't done anything with them. And I am gonna do a quick swatching in the back of my hand, one hand for each row. But let me give you the names from your left to right on the top. We have blonde matte, or I'm sorry, blonde, which is a matte eyeshadow, followed by the second one on the top. That is High Time Shine, a metallic eyeshadow. Then we have Empire City, which is a matte eyeshadow, followed by Jade Stone Metallic, a buff, it's a matte. And then finally, Champagne Quartz, a metallic. And then the bottom, from left to right again, we have Bronze Forest, a metallic eyeshadow, followed by Cream, a matte eyeshadow, Magic a metallic eyeshadow, Electric City, also a metallic eyeshadow, Rich Caramel, a matte eyeshadow, and finally Black Chocolate, a matte eyeshadow. So it's a mix of both metallics and mattes. So let me do a quick swatching in the back of my hand. So from left to right, in the same order as in the palette, in the top row, we have those shades again. I'm trying to hold it with one hand because the lid doesn't stay open. It's kind of difficult. I do want to show it. Maybe it's easier if I do it like this. Yeah, this is easier. But now it's twisted around. Uh, but you guys get the idea. That's the bottom row. In the back of my hand. That green in the middle is so beautiful. They are all are very pretty. And now let's do the second row. Here is the, um, the bottom row, but I twisted around, so right now it's the top row. Really pretty. Now let's see them side by side. Some of these shades are similar, but not entirely the same. This gold is beautiful. These two, this green is similar, a little bit lighter than this one. I think this palette is perfect for the fall. It came out right in the precise moment that it should come out. Now let's play with the palette. I'm gonna start with this shade right here, with which is a matte color. I'm gonna be using a Sony G Blender Pro and apply it all over the lid. I'm gonna be careful because I already have concealer on. If there's any fallout wall, then I'll have to clean it up, but I'm gonna try to minimize the fallout. So I'm just gonna put it all over the lid. Give me like a base. All the products that I've used, mentioned or not, that I've used in this video, in this makeup look, I'm gonna leave that, the links of those products down below in case you're interested to know what I, I used. So there I applied it all over the lid and with the same brush I'm going to go now with this one's a little bit darker. I'm going to try to use most colors that I can. That one's a little bit darker. It's also a matte and I'm going to use it for the crease softly. Again to minimize any fallout and I'm going to apply it right here in the crease. I do have hooded eyes so I like to go a little bit higher so you can see my eyeshadows when my eyes are open. Otherwise you won't be able to see anything. So it gives me a little dimension so far. These, these um, two mattes are really nice and there's no fallout. Not yet, at least. I, do, I don't like that because the mirror is not fixed. It does move as, as I move, so that's a little bit annoying. I guess I could use my hand mirror, which I think I'm going to do. Because it's a little hard to... The mirror is moving as I, as I move, at, too. With this hand mirror, the mirror stays put. This palette is limited edition, I believe. But it's still in the website, and um, I got it on M Macy's website, but I think you could find it in other retailers. I'll find all the links that I can, and I'll add them down below, because it is a very beautiful palette so far. Okay, so there I have it all over the crease. Really, really pretty. Now I'm going to go with the darker brown. I'm just going to go really softly. I think th this was called dark chocolate or chocolate. 
I'm going to just pick up a little bit with that same brush and then work it in ever so softly. Again, I'm going to go here to the crease and then in my outer half. I think this shade is also really pretty as an eyeliner. Maybe you could wet it a little bit with a setting spray or something like that and use it as an eyeliner. And you can see I'm going really slow because this is a really dark color. It's not black, it's dark brown, but it is pretty dark so I don't want any fallout. And if by any chance I mess up or something, I don't want to put too much because then it's more probable that I'll, you know, mess up or something. Especially since this is a new palette that I'm working with. So I'm going to really slowly then blend here in the middle, smooth it out. I'm not going to go too in the middle. Just stay out here. Look how beautiful that applies. No fallout. There's like a little bit. And I'll clean that off right now. Just very little. I could do this later, but I'm going to do this now. I'm just going to swipe it off because it bothers me to see it there. Just swipe it off and that's it. I haven't applied a highlighter yet. I only applied some of Laura Mercier translucent powder. The one that's Celestial Light, which has some shimmer. And that's the that's, the, that's what you're seeing right now. I don't have any highlight on. All right, let me do the other eye. All right, so the next color I want to... Kind of an undecided. If I want to use... Try to stay with like the lighter side. This one right here and or maybe this color but that green i think i might go for the green you know what i've noticed that if you go in these little in the quads these really good look together and then these four look really good together i think you can mix match them and the four these two go really nice together so i think i'm going to use these two shades right here they're both greens and then i'll use this color in the inner corner to give me that pop Think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use my finger. I'm actually I'm gonna try with a brush and see if how they work with a brush, and then I'll use my finger. I'm gonna get a Sony G Work One, and I'm going to start with the lightest of the green. It's like a really light, shimmery. What's it called? Highline shine. So it's kind of like a really soft green. And then we're just gonna I'm gonna go right here in the inner half. I have a feeling I'll be able to pick up more with a brush, but I did, I'm sorry, with a finger, but I do want to try it with a brush. You can pick up some with a brush, but I I bet I'll get more with my finger. Let's see. Yep, definitely. Just going to press it in and take it to the middle. This palette, you could get so many looks from it. You could use just one shadow and be one and done. That's it. Like this one all over the lid with maybe a black eyeliner and then some mascara and you're ready to go. It is so pretty and so easy to work with. I'm gonna get that darker green, just get some of it for the middle. And kind of do like a marriage of all these colors right here in the middle. What a beautiful color. I don't know if you could see that there's like a shift. I'm gonna go back with that worker one and just blend it here together. And with that the brush I used earlier for the outer half, I'm just going to blend it here. Then everything together here in the middle. Look how pretty that is. What do you guys think? I think it's so, so pretty. And I'm going to get a, since I'm already ready here, I'm going to get a little, little tiny brush from Sydney Grace. I'm going to get some of that metallic. These two metallics and use them in the waterline. Let's see how that looks. That is so pretty. And then let me go back with that other green. And they're shimmery, but they're not glitter, which is great. Isn't that pretty, you guys? What do you think? I feel kind of like Cleopatra with the, the, that line in the bottom. I think it's so pretty. So I'm going to find another tiny brush. This one's also from Sydney Grace. And I'm going to go in with this champagne color right here and just get a little bit with the brush and apply it here in the inner corner I'll get this ref for number 27 and just go over here are the edges because I want to clean this area a little bit more make it more smoother Okay, with the brush I use to apply my concealer, I'm gonna just swipe a little bit clean. There's not, uh, there's not, there's no fallout, but I do wanna clean off a little bit of, you know, the corners 
Today I used the BK Beauty 10A506. And I'm just gonna go like this. So I still had some concealer left. It like cleans off these corners a little bit. Making sure it's even. I think it looks even enough. It is so pretty. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to apply mascara and finish off my face, put on some lipstick, and then I'll come back for my final thoughts. So yeah, I, th I think this palette is beautiful. It's perfect for the fall. If you want to see other favorite fall palettes that I recommend to you, then I'm going to leave the link of that video at the end for you guys to check that out. Now is your turn. Let me know down below what you think about this makeup look that I created. What do you think about the eyeshadow palette? Let me know all your questions, all the details down below. I want to thank you guys for coming over. I really do appreciate it. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I'll see you next time. Bye.